my goal here is to draw a histogram to illustrate the data in problem 11 on page 478 from your textbook. I'm only going to do a portion of the data and leave you to do all of it. And I'm going to do this on my TI Inspire calculator. So the first thing I'll need on my calculator is a new document. And the document I want is list or spreadsheet. <clears throat> and I'm going to paste my data in here. And I need to label it. So this is speed. And this is frequency. Once I have the data I need in along with the frequency column, I need to add another document. I'm actually adding a page here. And the page I want is data and statistics. This is the screen here. And it will give you the information in sort of a random way. Uh, go down to the bottom of the screen and click speed and it will be organized for you if not exactly into histograms back to menu uh, we can go to plot type and go to histogram and it will give you three columns that are all exactly the same <clears throat> you know this isn't correct because uh, the data that we just came from says that this column should be 20 high whereas the column over here should be 110 high so click on frequency I'd rather right click on frequency, excuse me. If you right click on frequency, you'll see it says add Y summary list. That's what you want to do. Now click on frequency and you have the histograms. The bar should be wider. So I need to change their properties. Back to menu, to plot properties, to histogram properties, to bin settings, to equal bin width, and the bin width I want is 15, and the alignment I want is 60. The reason for the 15 is that the bin width as given in the table is 15, and the lowest uh, number in the table is, for, is the beginning of the bin width 60. So I hit, the, hit OK here, and this fills up my screen. Uh, you can see that there's a problem that my last bin goes off the screen, so by moving my uh, cursor down to the bottom right corner, I can pull in my axis to show all of the bins that I need. And that completes the illustration for uh, that portion of the problem.